Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity Touch tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be fixing a bug. Now it's been a little while since I uh, uh, looked at the TouchLogic V2 script that we wrote a little while ago, uh, but I looked at it recently and noticed a bug with the Touch to Watch, and we're going to fix that today. So if you haven't been using Touch to Watch, then you shouldn't have been affected by this bug at all. Um, but if you have, then you might have run into it, and it might have caused some issues that you weren't... Uh, sure why they were happening. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just show the bug, um, describe why it happens, and then and then we're going to fix it. The fix is like just a few lines of code, really really simple, really quick. Um, there will be a link in the description below to the exact time if you want to skip ahead to that and not bother with my lengthy description, but here we go. Alright, so I have a scene right now. There's a right button and a left button. They both take up half the screen. They both have this color changing script on them, uh, which inherits from TouchLogic V2. And all it does is OnTouch began, it changes the color to red, and OnTouch ended anywhere, it changes the color to black, but only if the touch that ended is the touch that we're watching. And the touch to watch gets set in the TouchLogic V2 at the same time that uh, OnTouch began is called, right here. So OnTouch began, we set the touch to watch equal to the current touch, which is equal to the current touch index that we're looping through. Alright, so let's just go ahead and see this in action. Alright, so let's say that this finger is touch index 0. And this, so that button is now watching for touch index 0. And this one is touch index 1. Cool. Alright, so if I let go of 1, 1 should turn back to black, and 0 zero should turn back to black. Cool, that's exactly what we want. But, here's the issue. If we do zero and then one, and then we let go of zero, that button turned black as it should, but now if we let go of the finger that was previously touch index one, it didn't change. Alright, let's see, why didn't it change? It's because when I, uh, when I let go of touch index 0, only touch index 1 was left, so that one became touch index 0, but the button was still looking for touch index 1. Uh, so to explain that better, let's say I've got three touches on the screen, right? Um, let's call it 0, 1, and 2. So here we're going to say, alright, get me touch index 1. Alright, so it's going to look through the array 0, 1, and 2. This is index 1. This is the finger that we're going to watch. Alright, but let's say I get rid of this finger. I let go of touch index 0. So now I say, alright, get me touch 1 again. It's going to see 0, 1, and that's a different finger. We don't want that. Not when we're trying to pay attention to one finger the whole time. Uh, so that's uh, touch index. That's what we're using currently. This is what's been on my website. Um, but we want to use touch finger ID, which is different than touch index. The touch index just, as I described before, loop, looks through all of the uh, current touches on the screen and sees what's what. But touch finger ID will remain the same on every finger, regardless of uh, any of the other touches entering and leaving the screen. So, I touch here, this guy will have the same finger ID the whole time, and that's what we want for our touch to watch. Alright, so here is the actual fix, really simple. We're going to change this to be a for each loop, and we're going to say for each touch, that we're going to call touch, in input not touches so this is going to loop, loop through every single touch that's on the screen and for current touch instead of a touch index we're going to say we want to get the touch this current touch we want to get its finger id and all of these uh input dot get touch calls we want to change that uh, you could hit control f to open up this menu uh, input.getTouches, we just want to change that to touch, our, the name of our touch that we're looking at. 
and then just hit this button to replace all of them, and that's it. Hit save, and we should be fixed. So if I go back to play mode, bring this up, I put down this finger, so let's, let's say 0, 1, I let go of 1 and 0, that works just as it did before, but now if I do 0, 1, and then let go of 0, then 1, it works exactly as it's intended to. So that's it, that's the quick fix. Um, yeah, it should only have changed TouchLogic V2, all of your other scripts that inherit from it don't need to change at all. Um, yeah. So, oh, also there's one more thing. Let's say you have a finger on a button, that's going to get the touch to watch, and then we put another finger on the same button, that new button, or that new finger, uh, touch one, is going to overwrite the old touch, so it's not going to pay attention to this finger anymore. Um, if you want to change that, uh, make it so it watches, like, you know, as long as there's a touch on it, it's going to stay red. You could change this to on touch, uh, like stayed or something. Uh, yeah, change it to whatever you want, whatever works for you. I'll leave that part up to you, but for now I'm going to leave it like this. Um, yeah, so that's the quick fix. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, tell all your friends if this helped. Um, check out the links in the description below for links to my website, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.